Okay, this is the first problem of this set of five problems for the 2021 AMC 10A. It is problem number six. Chantel and Jean start hiking from a trailhead toward a fire tower. Jean is wearing a heavy backpack and walks slower. Chantel starts walking at four miles per hour. Okay, what rates? It's probably gonna be rate times time equals distance. So we've got Chantel starting off at four. Okay, halfway to the tower. Okay, so we don't know the distance. We just know it's halfway to the tower. Let's just call that a distance of D. Now, we could call the total distance to the tower D, but then this would have to be D over two, and now you got a fraction. We don't want that. So uh, halfway to the tower, the trail becomes really steep, and Chantel slows down to two miles per hour. So this would be C1, Here's C2, now she's going two miles per hour. You add different notation as you're working through the problem as necessary. Okay, after reaching the tower, she immediately turns around and descends the steep part. Wait a minute, what's the steep part? Um, it says that halfway to the tower, the trail becomes steep. So it's the halfway point again, just gotta remind yourself. So this is gonna be C3, um, descends the steep part of the trail at three miles per hour. So she's going three miles per hour. All of these distances are equal. Uh, she meets Jean at the halfway point, right? Where it's about to become steep. So Jean's rate, we're just gonna call it J. That's her rate, because yeah, that's her name. Uh, what was Jean's average speed in miles per hour until they meet? Well, Jean also walked a distance of D. Well, what is average speed? It's total distance over total time. So, Jean's total distance, uh, we don't know what her time is, we probably need this time column, right? So let's just do D divided by four, this will be D over four, D over two, D over three, and D over J. And it must mean the total time that Chantel walked equals the time that Jean walked. And if you can't tell, all of those Ds are about to go away. So D over three equals D over J. Then get rid of the d's, they're not relevant, we don't want the fractions, we're gonna multiply by the least common multiple of everything. Um, I guess we could just do it for just this side, but I'd rather just, I don't know. Yeah, 12j, multiply by 12j on both sides, probably easier. By the way, you can't put parentheses around an equal sign in school, it's technically not allowed. But on the competition, you get to break the rules. So 12J divided by four is three J. Teachers will mark you off points if you do it in school, just a warning. So 12J over four is three J plus 12J over two is six J. 12J over three is four J. And 12J over J is 12. So we've got seven, six, 13 J um, equals 12. And J is gonna equal after I divide by 13, 12 over 13, on to the next problem. All right, continuing on, the 2021 AMC 10A problem seven, it was also the 12A problem four. They haven't had this type of question in quite some time, which is why I really liked it. It's basically pure logic. Maybe you could do a Venn diagram kind of thing, but it's not really like hardcore, strictly math, okay? So uh, you might have spent some time on it, maybe you didn't. Tom has a collection of 13 snakes four of which are purple and five of which are happy. This sounds like one of those memes where it's like they're, you know, reminded of what they learned in algebra or something, you know, and it asks, makes up some funny question because, you know, it doesn't really make sense, right? So uh, four are purple, five are happy. He observes that all of his happy snakes can add. So I'm gonna immediately go to that Venn diagram idea. So add, would be here and the happy would be here. Incidentally, I guess we know what kind of snakes they are. I mean, they're obviously adders. <laughs> so none of his purple snakes can subtract. So let's say this is gonna be the ones that can add. This will be ones that can subtract and purple is not gonna be in there, but let's hold off just a second. All of his snakes that can't subtract which are the purple, some of them at least are purple. So the purple snakes are part of the group that can't subtract and none of, all of those snakes that can't do that also can't add. So purple cannot be inside of the add column at all. 
we'll put it here. Which of these conclusions can be drawn about Tom Snakes? A, purple snakes can add. Um, we just cleared that up. No, they cannot add. B, purple snakes are happy. Well, ha all the happy snakes, all of the happy snakes are in the uh, add circle. So the P, the pur purple snakes are not going to be part of that group. Uh, snakes that can add are purple. No, they're not. <laughs> the first three are pretty easy to eliminate. The last ones, uh, maybe a little bit more challenging. So happy snakes are not purple. Happy snakes all with an add. Purple snakes out there looks pretty good to me. It's probably D. Because we're so close to the end, I would probably check the last one. Happy snakes can't subtract. Well, again, all snakes that can't subtract can't add, and happy snakes can add. Definitely not E. Answer choice D. See you guys in the next problem. And continuing on with the 2021 AMC 10A problem 8, it was also the AMC 12A problem 5. When a student multiplied the number 66 by the repeating decimal, that reminds me, if you watched yesterday's video where I explained, I think it was the 2019 10A, one of the problems on there, it had repeated decimal. It probably gave you a little edge on this because you just recently thought about the concept. So he multiplied 66 by this. It's A, B, A, B, dot, 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 meaning it keeps going forever. This is the repeated symbol, okay? Um, where A and B are digits, he did not notice the notation. So what did he, he was supposed to do something, right? He was supposed to do 66 times. Um, it's going to be the one plus the repeated decimal. And one of the things that we learned in that video is that, for example, if you have 0 0.41 repeating, it's just 41 over 99. If you want to know how that works, watch that video, the end part of it, where I go through a problem with repeated decimals. I show you why that's the case. So uh, one plus and it would be AB, but you don't want to write AB over 99 because it looks like A times B. Instead, we're going to need to use the expanded form, which is 10A plus B. You might not be used to this. It's kind of a basic fundamental part of number theory, which uh, is going to be essential going forward. So uh, this is going to be 10A plus B over 99. Okay, um, and again, to understand this, think about the 41. How would you write 41? It would be 40 plus 1, which is 10 times 4 plus 1, right? And that's why it's 10 times the first digit plus the second. Okay, you got it. All right, so he did not notice, just multiplied 66 times this. Now, this is what he did, but he was supposed to do that. So, or it doesn't say he, I guess. Yeah, he, I guess it does say he, good. Um, so it's going to be, he did this, 66 times 1 plus. Now what's point A, B? Well, it's just hundredths. So it's going to be 10A plus B over 100. All right, that's what he did. This is what he was supposed to do. Later, he found that his answer is 0 0.5 less than the correct answer. So this subtracted from this is going to be 1 half. 0 0.5, 1 half, same thing. Okay, my first thought, let's factor out this 66. So I'm going to write 66 here, and I'm going to take this and look at that, and imagine moving the minus onto that 1. The 1s are going to cancel. Then I'm going to have this expression minus that expression, and they're not going to combine unless they have a common denominator. So I'm going to make one right now, 9900. Meaning I'm going to multiply this 1 by 100 over 100. So 10A times 100 is 1,000A uh, plus 100B over, it's 100 over 100, so the 99 gets it also, that was the entire point, minus, and we're going to do this one times 99 over 99. So you're going to get 990, I'll keep it in the parentheses for now, 990A plus 99B over 9900. Okay, so we got that going on. It's still all equal to one half. Now we have common denominator. We're going to distribute this minus sign. 1000A minus 990A is 10A. There's still this 66 out front. 100B minus 99B is B. Wait, that looks familiar. That's the number AB. 
and it says, what is the two digit integer AB? So since these are equivalent values, this is the answer when we get it. Okay, so then this is over 99 times 100. Why did I change it to 99 times 100? Because I anticipated the 33 factor canceling on both. So 33 goes into here twice, 33 goes into here three times, two goes into 150 times, and you're now gonna have what you want over 150 equals one half. Multiply by 150, half of 150, 75. Answer choice E. Hope you enjoyed the problem. We are on to the next one. All right, and now the 2021 AMC 10A Problem 9. Test is starting to get fun now. Uh, also the AMC 12A Problem 7. What is the least possible value of this xy minus 1 squared plus x plus y squared for real numbers x and y. Okay, well, we got a perfect square and a perfect square. Smallest those can be is zero. It's got to be zero. Or is it? Yeah, that looks like a nice right trap answer. Just looking, do you really think on number nine you're just going to go, oh, zero and zero, zero. I'm so good, right? I hope you didn't do that. And if you did, it's okay. We all make mistakes at times. But it's not that hard to expand these. Go ahead and do it, right? So x, y squared is going to be x squared, y squared. This times this times 2 is minus 2xy. Negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. This one expanded is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Ah, oh, well, look at negative, positive, goodbye, x, y terms. And then we have what? x squared y squared plus x squared plus y squared plus 1. I wrote the squareds first because now we can actually think about it. The 1 is not in the middle of a square. There's not anything weird going on. We're probably not going to get trapped here. Double check. Real numbers x and y means I could choose 0 if I want. And the smallest these can be now because they don't have anything extra going on. They're just a number. The smallest any squared number can be is really 0 right? But uh, while, yeah, it's not going to work because the values you would have to pick for x, y to make this expression zero will not make that expression zero. That's why it doesn't work what you were, what I tried at the beginning. So I could make them both zero though. This would be zero plus zero plus zero, one. I cannot get lower than one. That's the answer. Sorry if you fell for the trap, guys. It happens to the best of us. Let's get on with it. All right, the last problem of the set for 10A, and if you're watching this one on the 12A, there'll be one more after this, of course. I do five at a time, usually. So 2021 AMC 10A problem 10, which of the following is equivalent to all of this? This is, again, your experience comes to your aid. There were several times in past contests, or maybe in volume one, where this should look really familiar, right? Uh, let's just take like this part right here, for instance. Uh, if I call that x and y, right? Let's say it's x plus y and you've got x squared plus y squared. Well, if you've ever broken down difference of squares with a really large power of two, like let's say you had x to the fourth minus y to the fourth, okay? Uh, if you did it quickly, which you probably have if you did it in a competition, you would do something like this. You would get x squared plus y squared times x squared minus y squared, but you wouldn't write x squared minus y squared because you're thinking ahead and you recognize that what you're about to write is still the difference of squares. So you write x plus y, x minus y. Interesting, so this looks a lot like that. If I just multiplied it by x minus y, it would look like this. Okay, well what if I had it one more step higher? What if I had x to the 8th minus y to the 8th? It looks exactly like this. It's x to the 4th plus y to the 4th. Again, the other term would be x to the 4th minus y to the 4th, which is this, which means it would just keep getting written. And so the last thing you would have is this x minus y. Well, that means all we're missing is an x minus y term. So let's set all of this, right, that whole expression equal to a, okay? All of that equal to, I'm not gonna rewrite it. 
we would need to multiply both sides of that expression and the other side by x minus y. Okay. So then how am I going to get it? Well, all of this times all of those things, right? It would just wrap back up to this. Okay, now notice that this is the eights are not your numbers in parentheses, which means we're looking at these 64s, then the number that we would write that it's equal to is not 64, but twice that amount, right? It's going one, two, four, eight. So we've got one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, it will be 128 after these all combine. It would be uh, x to the 128th minus y to the 128th equals a over a times x minus y. Now, a is the answer, not answer choice a, but just a, a for answer, right? In order to find what it's equivalent to, we're gonna have to divide by x minus y. So our answer needs to be looking something like this, x minus y. Okay, well, we don't have anything like that. So what do we do? Well, what was x and y again? It was two and three. And we could try to do algebra on this, but if we just go back to what x and y were, we, I thought of it originally as x is 2 and y is 3. That's going to give you a negative, but why? Why not x is 3 and y is 2? All that would do is reverse the order of all of these, right? 3 squared plus 2 squared, and they're all pluses, so you can do that. That would mean that x minus y is now 1, and really you're going to have 3 to the 128th minus 2 to the 128th, that is answer choice C. This is why I say to solve all of the past competitions, because if you have, you've likely encountered something like this somewhere along the way. Also the AOP, AOPS books in volume one has something like this when you're distributing, and there's several other ones that do also. So uh, that's it for this set. See you for the next problem on problem 10. If you're watching from the 10A, get ready for the next five.